Sagittarius, a quick video for you guys because I've skipped over your sign during the all signs. What is your focus? The idea is to look at obviously what you're prioritizing, but we're looking at guidance around that. We're looking also at past, present, future. So where it stems from and where it could lead to. So sorry guys for forgetting or just like over, just, I skipped it. <laughs> Anywho, what is on your mind? What are you prioritizing here? Memories of love. <laughs> You're feeling nostalgic. You're thinking probably about the good old times, but maybe also the rest. <laughs> Who knows? what you're really focusing on, the good or the bad, I'm not sure at this point. So the guidance is family. So you're really about reminiscing on your childhood, most likely, but at least it's the love of your family. So again, it could be good or bad, I'm not sure yet. It depends on the tarot here. So what is the past? What is the present and what is the future? Okay, it's interesting. Um, you have a lot of fire going on, yet uh, there's an energy, an earth energy that is much more somber and stern and serious as, as well as wise and just um, mature so maybe around you and your family you have like really really outgoing people and maybe you're the oddball maybe you're the black sheep of the family or vi vice versa you're part of the like the fiery ones and then there's somebody in your family that's a little more like i've been describing much more on the solo side a little bit more um, introverted as well. But either way, there's great love between the two polarities, if you want. So in your past, um, you would have experienced like um, a lot of confidence when it came to knowing that your family's there for you and having like the a good seat at the table, you know, having your say and having some kind of weight, some kind of influence uh, towards others or on others when it came to either decisions or just like maybe the way you attract uh, attention, the way you behave in a good way, right? Just like... Um, maybe being the center of attention, but for the right reasons, thank goodness. <laughs> so because maybe you had good ideas, maybe you were the clown or like the funny one or, or the wise one, but definitely someone to noticeable and memorable. At the moment, you've sort of changed, uh, you're still very fiery, but you've, you've slightly changed in the sense that you're more detached from that particular role of leading or maybe even trying to parent others if you had siblings or cousins or if you were, I don't know, for some reason, let's say you come from a family where you're like, um, you know, single mother or single parent, uh, single parent family, then maybe you would have taken the role of a parent. So you used to be like that, but now you're much more in and out. You're less involved. Maybe that's why you're reminiscing, maybe because you've grown up, maybe because uh, you just have less time, but you're less focused on that at the moment. And the more time goes, the less you're focused on that. So either you become even more solo and it's your own energy that's been transforming all along, or you're dealing with somebody in your family with whom you're reminiscing about 
precisely this kind of the dynamics between all of you, right? So you could have had like a particular relationship with someone that was less involved. And now I feel that this person is coming back at the forefront of your, of your attention, of your focus, mainly through memories, of course, but it's still part of the picture. I think you wonder how and why they're mostly solo when the rest of the family is so outgoing and seems to be very much more intertwined and much more alike. Maybe you've always wondered why someone was different from the rest. So, but that person is really coming up really strongly in the reading because they, they're different from the rest. But you love them greatly. It's just a, there's a different type of love. There's a, there's a different uh, rapport, there's a different, um, the right word is the dynamics of, of it all. So, but it could be you, it could be you simply growing old and older, I should say, and just feeling very different from the fiery, uh, maybe youngster that you used to be or adolescent or young adult. You've now become a lot more serious and a bit more stern and just more, uh, I find wise as well. Much more um, mature. It's really the right word as well. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Please like, share and subscribe and sorry for skipping your sign again. Thank you. Bye.